Former Egypt President Hosni Mubarak is in stable condition in a military hospital following a stroke he suffered overnight. Shireen Tadros is in Cairo and she joins us now with more details. And Shireen, look, uh, this story has had uh, been changing all day. What's the latest on the health of Hosni Mubarak? And, and, and maybe fill us in on the twists and turns this story has taken throughout the day. Well, actually, there's been no official word for the past 12 hours on Mubarak's health. We are expecting on Wednesday uh, a report into from, from his medical team into exactly how he's doing. We are also perhaps going to see an official statement being released as well about Mubarak's current health. Uh, what we are getting are reports from Mubarak's family and also from uh, sources, security sources, essentially, which are saying that Mubarak has been getting better in the last few hours throughout the course of Wednesday that he is not in a coma, he's breathing by himself and that is all, all his vital organs are working fine. So, of course, all of this news met by a very skeptical Egyptian public who for the past year have been hearing about Mubarak's deteriorating health, at some points even being told about his imminent death. So people who don't really trust a lot of these reports, they think that um, perhaps his lawyers and his medical team are exaggerating the situation in order to justify him moving from the prison hospital he was in uh, up until last night to a lot more comfortable military hospital, which, where is, which is where he's at right now. Okay, and Shireen, if we could, let's turn to the election process here. We have, as you know, two candidates who are claiming that they won the presidential runoff, and, and now there is this other body that has weighed in on uh, the process today. What can you tell us about that, and when will we get some official results? Well, a few hours ago, uh, a group of independent judges who were monitoring the counting of the vote had a press conference. Their numbers tallied up to Mohammed Morsi, the Muslim Brotherhood's candidate's numbers, essentially declaring him the winner. But they also made very clear that these are not official results. The final word goes to the Supreme Elections Commission. They are meant to be announcing the results and the final uh, count on Thursday. However, we've had some indication from the Elections Commission that they that may not happen on time because there are about 400 complaints that have been filed by both candidates against each other that are currently being looking into. And Farouk Sultan, who is the head of the Elections Commission, has said that there is no way they can announce a result until they have dealt with every single one of these complaints. Mohamed Morsi saying that there's around 140 incidences that have to do with voter intimidation. Uh, Ahmed Shafi saying that in at least four provinces there was Irregularity. So a lot of confusion and uh, a lot of claims and counterclaims by both of these candidates. All right. And Shireen, one more for you. As, as uh, Robbie, maybe we can take a look at uh, Tahrir Square. Shireen, we're starting to see some people gathering there at Tahrir Square. And I'm curious, has there been another call for demonstrations against what many are calling uh, uh, the power grab from SCAF? Well, essentially on Tuesday when this latest wave of protests began and we saw tens of thousands of people gathering on Tuesday, it was meant to be an open-ended sit-in. So what we're starting to see is, and what I, I suspect we'll see in the coming days, is every day there'll be a trickle-in of people into Tahrir Square, particularly uh, in the evening when the sun goes down. The, what we'll actually be looking for is on Friday and Tuesday, which tends to be the bigger days of protest, whether that number swells. But the main point here is that Tahrir Square, uh, having an impact on the political process right now is questionable because people tend to gather there, but what they can actually achieve uh, is, is really not very clear. All right, Shireen Tadros for us in uh, Cairo.